Hi there, welcome to All Sorts of Crazy. My name is Sarah Schwartz. Welcome to my totally empty classroom because we are on summer break. Even though we're on summer break, I wanted to give you an inside look at what GimKit looks like. I love GimKit for quiz review, team building, or icebreakers. It's so versatile and the kids love it. GimKit was described as Kahoot on steroids. And if you've ever played Kahoot, your kids probably go nuts. Now, if you're a teacher and you wanna create an account, you have to go to sign up. What you'll see is that there's two options for the GimKit, the free version as well as GimKit Pro. I totally recommend trying out the free version before you buy the whole kit. Now you're logged in and you're ready to create your first GIM kit. When I log in, this is my home screen on my iPad, so you can see the GIM kits that I've created as well as the assignments that I've assigned to my classes. You can also see that I can create my own classes, which I'll show you in just a moment. Let's go to create a new kit. So I'm gonna hit new kit. Let's say it was the beginning of the year and I wanted to create a quiz or review about my syllabus. I would call it Swartz Syllabus and your children will see the name of this kit, so name it appropriately. Once you've named your GIM kit, you get to choose a cover and they're always GIFs or GIFs. I think it's GIFs, but however you pronounce it. And the great thing is they're all school appropriate. I'm gonna choose this one from The Simpsons where the kids are all on their phone because I definitely have questions about phones on my syllabus. Now to create my first question, I'll hit add question on the bottom right corner. Let's say my question was, how many days do you have to turn in late work? The first answer that you'll put in is the correct answer. Then I'll put in three distractor incorrect answers. Once I finish all the questions, I will hit add question. And I'll add one more question real quickly. Now after I've created my second question, you can see they're both sitting in my quiz. All of the questions that I've created will show up here. The correct answer will be in green, so it's super easy to check if you put those in correctly. Now once you're totally done, now if you have the free version, make sure that you finish all of your questions before you proceed. But because I have the pro, I can hit create kit and then come back to edit it whenever I'd like. You can have your students play in either classic or team mode. In classic, there are three options. They can race for time. I can put in as much time as I want if I want them to play for eight minutes. The winner will be the student that earns the most money. I can have them race to a certain amount of dollars. Again, I can make this as much or as little as I'd like it to be. Or, or I could do all in. Again, they're trying to earn as much money as possible, but the game ends when the class itself reaches a collective goal. Now I always turn clapping off, always. Because at the end of the game, the students can tap their iPads to simulate clapping as many times as possible. And on your speakers, where your music used to be, you'll hear <laughs> and you can't make it stop. Therefore, I would encourage you to turn clapping off. If you choose team mode, you can put as many people as you would like in each team. Sometimes I do two people per team. Sometimes I do one half of the class versus the other half of the class. GimKit will automatically decide the teams, so you do not have to worry about splitting up teams evenly. As soon as you decide what mode you would like to play in, go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so let's get to how the game is actually played. If you've ever played Kahoot with your kids, it's very similar. But instead of having the questions up front on the board, each student has the questions as well as the four possible answers on their own iPad. Therefore, they can move as fast or as slow as they are comfortable with. In the right-hand corner, you'll see how much money each student has accumulated. If a student gets an answer correct, they'll see how much money they earned, as well as have the option to either shop for more upgrades or continue on to more questions. Now, you actually can't buy any upgrades until you have at least $10. Once a player has at least $10, they can shop for upgrades such as money per question, streak bonus, multiplier, or insurance. Now, if a player gets the question incorrect, they'll see how much money they lost, as well as have the option to continue on to more questions or see the correct answer. Now, there are some special upgrades called power-ups. My students love power-ups because they offer so much more strategy as well as competition against other players or teams. The power-ups range to choosing new music for the game, 10, per question. to freezing other players' iPads so that they cannot play for 15 seconds. 
you can expect a lot of groaning when somebody gets iced. On your projector or smart board, you'll see the standings of each player and how much money they have, as well as how much time is left and how much money the class has accumulated total. At the end of the game, the standings will be posted. First, second, and third will get gold, silver, and bronze, and then you'll see the rankings from first to last place players. There's also a kit collaboration mode, which I love because there's no prep on your part. Each student, after they sign in, will submit a question that you can approve or deny, and those are the questions that are used in the GIM kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this resource as much as my students do. That you get to have fun and it's competitive and teachers that you are totally enjoying your summer. If you enjoyed this video, would you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, have an awesome summer. See you soon.